hi welcome back to my youtube channel um this week it was just preparation for um just the yard so the yards this weekend which um it's a dundee one so it's the first weekend of every single month so it's a nice little um it's just a nice little time me and my friend rebecca go together so there's lots of fun little things we like to do I got two more Etsy orders this week, which was really cool. Um, every time someone orders from my shop, I get very excited. So that's me got four orders um, from my Etsy. And I don't know, I'm very proud of it. I know four doesn't sound like a lot to some folk, but you know, for me, four Etsy orders, 51 subscribers, I'm doing great, you know? <laughs> um, I, it's my, it is my goal to become a full-time artist and nowadays a lot of that is for Etsy and YouTube and Instagram and all that jazz so um, even if you're just subscribed to my channel or like my videos or um, if you want to like my Instagram, follow me on Instagram and um, TikTok, that, that's supporting me in its own way. You don't need to buy something from my Etsy but if you do, that's also supporting me becoming a full-time artist because when I'm not doing this, I work full-time as well, so I'm juggling quite a few things, so. So I got, um, so for my plots, these guys, um, I, it was just like this little idea I had because I love them, I think they're great. This is my particular one, I call, it in, I call them buttons just because I enjoy having a piece of my own art. It's sort of, because when you sell art, it's easy to kind of like get rid of a lot of your progress because um, you don't get like, it's not like a sketchbook where you get to see like all of your stuff. So my really early art that I was selling at the yard, I got rid of it all, be it um, in mystery bags or selling it at the time and then just selling out the product. So I don't really have that progress. Whereas I started to keep like one of everything, which may or may not be a good thing. I enjoy, oh, I just kicked the thing, but I enjoy it. And I was looking at them and I thought when I was little, I've always wanted, uh, a teddy that's kind of like me um, in the sense that I got glasses I know that sounds very silly but I used to hate wearing my glasses as a kid and I tried making them and they didn't work so I ordered them they're so teeny tiny and they look so stinking cute so <laughs> how cute is that? I'm a bit obsessed with it so every single one of my plods, link is link, the link is in the description below. All of my plods will come with a pair of glasses. So even if it doesn't say it, they're coming with a pair of glasses and a little, little sort of ID card as well. And oh, I love them. I love them. I'm very obsessed with them. Very excited to show them off um, at the next yard. So, um, yeah, that's something to look forward to. I'll be in next week's video. But yeah. Um, so next up is just me painting my little mushroom guys. More chillness, more music. Yeah. Let me know if you comment or not. If you wanna um, have me speaking over a lot more. I'm not very confident on these things, but if it's something you're interested in, I'd be more than happy to just give it a go and see. But yeah. Not 
hopefully one day um, I get to do art full time and I feel like I'm getting a lot done just doing it part time so I'm really excited to see what I can what I can do in the future if I'm doing it full time I think I think uh, it could be a tiny empire maybe <laughs> maybe not an empire but you know what I mean I'd, I I put my all into it I'm, I'm very passionate about it so thank you so much if you're supporting me It's like when you have a cold and you blow your nose so much that your little nose is like, no, that's it. You've had your, you've had your sniffing privileges. <laughs> So I'm thinking of posting a more detailed and depth way of how I made my clay key rings because I think some people might find it quite interesting. At least I do. I enjoy a little clay pin making videos and people explaining the process. But mostly my stuff is just polymer clay and I hand make that. And then once it's dry, maybe bake in the oven. So once it's baked and looking nice then I paint it by hand and then um, I glaze it with UV resin make sure you're wearing the right equipment so like gloves mask I show my gloves here but I'm also wearing a very wonderful mask um, <laughs> that I showed off in my last video I just showed off it's not something to be impressed by it's I look it's just yeah it's I'll maybe post a bit picture, I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then once that's done, that's basically it. You just attach it to either a key ring or a phone charm, and that's it done. It takes, I don't know, I would say it takes about an hour per key ring. Just with sculpting, painting, glazing, and then attaching it to the key ring itself. But Maybe it's about half an hour to an hour, but it's good fun.
post a video every Wednesday. I said in my last video it was every Tuesday, but I was mistaken. So every Wednesday a video. I'm aiming to do it around two o'clock, um, but I can't guarantee two o'clock. But every Wednesday, new YouTube video. That's the goal anyway. So it's me again on my floor with my plod. Um, thank you very much for watching my video. Um, if you liked it then give it a like and if you want to join my little plod army and um, subscribe to my youtube channel then it would be absolutely wonderful and I'd really appreciate it. Like I said that's us just hit 50 subscribers so we're just a little channel but it's, it's nice here you know I'm still learning. So <laughs> menacingly <laughs> he appears. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much. I'll see you all later. Bye.